hey, hey, welcome to the channel. It's your boy Gordon from Gordon's World for Life. You know the business. Today is Sunday. Cook day. Man, cook day. Cook day. You know the business, man. It's cook day. So today on the menu is I'm going to make a white, creamy spaghetti bake today. Show y'all how to get out on that. That's just my dryer in the background making that noise. But anyway, I'm getting ready to make a spaghetti bake. A white, creamy spaghetti bake. So here's my ingredients. And I'm going to show y'all how I get out. And it's easy. Y'all can do it too. Hello, world. All right, here's my ingredients. I got a little, it's going to be a small batch. So I got a little hamburger meat, probably about a pound and a half. I got some uh, bell peppers, red bell peppers, green bell peppers. Got a little onion. And we also got a little tomato, tomato sauces. This is right here is just a plain store-bought tomato and basil garlic. I like the garlic flavor. Got some whipping cream that I'm gonna make and butter for my white sauce, and of course the noodles right there. So we get ready to whip all this up. It's gonna be a two uh, two way process. Just make the spaghetti, and then I'm gonna make the whipping sauce. And of course I got some prom fresh parmesan right here, and a little mozzarella. I throw a little mozzarella in there, and maybe a little cheddar as well. But these are my ingredients, as you can see. And we get ready to start it off right now. Hello world. Creamy spaghetti bake. Alright, here we go. You know, I'm browning my hamburger meat. So now I'm at the process of putting in my vegetables. This is what I like in mine. Red bell peppers. Green bell peppers. I already added some broccoli. I mean, excuse me, no broccoli. I already added garlic. Get all that in there. Let the meat brown and make our meat sauce. Oh, drop one. Stir that around, let that brown. Cook down a little bit. Let this cook down. And I'll get back at you. We add the sauce. noodles and meat are cooking I like to always open up my Parmesan cheese I like fresh cheese it just it just shreds and it tastes better so I'm gonna shred some of this just hit it over my shredder this is for my white sauce fresh Parmesan So, 
we'll see how much of that we come up with. So that's a good cup's worth for sure. I like, I just like it fresh, so much better. All right, got the noodles done. I'm gonna pour those out. All Smoke. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's it. So I forgot the noodles here, and this is how I like to do it. I'm gonna mix these in. Wait a minute. This may not work. Gotta do a quick adjustment. Hello world. What we did was just add them back to the big pan and let them get mixed and incorporated in here. And then this way here, it gets really incorporated. And now, I'm getting ready to make the cheese sauce. And then we'll all add it to the baked pan. Hello world. All right, now we're gonna start the sauce. You already got a little butter. I'm gonna put another tablespoon of butter in there. Get that to melt and heating up. Get that going. So I'm gonna add a little cream. Gotta open this real quick. Brand new cream. So I'm gonna pour, I guess, about a cup of cream to start off and see how it goes. Let the cream heat up. And as the cream heats up, the cream starts to heat up, I'm gonna start adding, adding my cheese. I got the cheese right here in front of me. And we're gonna start adding the cheese. A little at a time. A little at a time. Let it heat up. And I saw I get back to you when it's when it's right done. Hello world. But well, this is what it turned out like. Melted it, cream. I put two cloves of pressed garlic in it. And this is what the what it's looking like. Put a little more cheese in there. Let that melt down, cut the fire down real low, let it simmer so it doesn't burn. And now we're getting ready to get over here and mix it all together. That's the cream sauce for the white baked spaghetti. Hello world, smells good when I added the garlic too. Hello world. But yeah, add it with my little press right here. Still a little bit on there, I need to scrape off. That's how I do it. And then pressed it like that. And we got garlic. Nice little salt. Hello, world. Alright, see, I transferred it all over. Now you're ready to put the cheese sauce in. Here we go. Wait just a minute. It's a little hot. Let me get some. There we go. So we gotta. Do 
So I'll mix it in a little bit. Seems pretty creamy to me. Now I gotta add a little more cheese. I want it to get all incorporated in there really good. I got I got some picky eaters around there. So let me add the rest of the cheese. Let me add a little cheese all over the top. Parmesan. All over the top. And throw a little cheddar for some color. We cheddar it up for color. So there you go. We're gonna go into the oven for about 30 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, and get back at you. Hello. Well, I felt it wasn't cheesy enough, so look here. I added more cheese. Yes, indeed. So now, bam, that's a cheesy bacon spaghetti. We're gonna bake it for a little bit and be right back at you. Hello, world. We're gonna take check this uh, spaghetti, uh, the white creamy spaghetti bake. It should be done. I left it in there probably like 30, 35 minutes on uh, the temperatures at 375. So we're ready to pull it out. Let's check it out right here. Hello, world. So we'll be back at you with uh, we'll be back at it in probably about 20, 25 minutes. See how it look. I might let it go 30 just for the bake and uh, have it nice and you know creamy. And uh, we'll be back at you in a minute. We got that creamy white spaghetti bake today. Hello, world. Well, there it is, fresh out. If you listen, you can hear it bubbling. That's my spaghetti, creamy white spaghetti bake. Hello, world. Time to plate up. All right, here we go. We're going to dig in. I had to let it cool off, it was so hot. So, it's still smoking hot. Look at that. Ooh. I let it sit for about 20 minutes before I even tried to grab any. I won't give me a little more because I'm hungry. See that? So we're gonna sit down and let you check it at the table. Good and hot. I said, well, here we go. Like I said, here's my plate. I'm gonna let you check it out like I usually do. The hands rub together, you know the business. So here we go. Here's the spaghetti. Cheesy bake, white creamy cheesy bake, nice and as you can see, smoking hot. Got a little nice little salad and a piece of Texas toast. So that's this is it. Salad right there. All right, so whoa, that was hot. Split up. Let's see how hot it is. But uh, I gotta taste it though. Let me s s s twist it up real good. Got a little more twisted. But let's we'll see what it turned out like. That's 
is nice and creamy. Maybe this will, ooh, I put a little bit of pepper uh, flakes in it and I can taste it a little bit. It's got a little pinch in it, but that's how I like it, so. ranch on my salad just a little bit and I mix a little blue cheese with it. this is the best blue cheese I ever had it's called Ken's Steakhouse just a quick plug I don't even know them they got some really good blue cheese just a little bit but all in all I think the spaghetti turned out pretty good well, I'm getting ready to smash it it's really hot so I might have to let it cool down a little bit I'm gonna try for one more spoonful. As you can see, it's my white creamy cheesy bacon. Yeah, a lot of flavor. Absolutely a lot of flavor. Just a month. Y'all gotta try this one. Very, very good. So, with that being said, it's your boy Gordon from Gordon's World for Life. Another day alive is another day to shine. I want y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. Guess what, y'all? I'm gone. Out of here. Hello, world. Sunday cook day. Bye.